Both the federal and state government are authorizing farmers to grow hemp. Many farmers have been going to meetings and seminars to find out if that is the path to profitability. WCIA 3's ag reporter Stu Ellis has more in this morning's report from the farm. This particular meeting was held in Morton and attracted Gary Connect, who farms in Madison and Menard counties. Well, I would say that I think it's got a tremendous uh, opportunity in a rotation crop with corn and beans. We've studied it for like 20 years, you know, as I told you earlier, when we grew canap for several years down our way in Southern Illinois through grants that we got from the Department of Agriculture. But uh, we learned a lot about it because canap is very similar to industrial hemp, and I think the fiber market's what we've always been interested in, and, and for long term, that's maybe three or four years down the road, but we're going to keep focused on, on the fiber side of it because we don't not going to get that much involved in the CBDs, but we think it's got a tremendous opportunity, and I think that industry can just uh, really help the agricultural community. I'm Joel Litweiler, and we farm down in the Hope Dale Manor area and also Groveland area. All right. Tell me about what's, what is your interest in hemp? Um, I'm currently an ICC student, so I'm coming to learn more about it, but it would be interesting in the way of textile industries, I would believe, for making multiple different things. And if it's a good food source for cattle, that would be a benefit as well. Uh, Marty Till, I'm from Dubuque, Iowa. Now, you came all the way over here for a, a hemp conference. Is this something that, is hemp going to be the next big thing, or is it a flash in the pan? Well, I'm hoping it's the next big thing. Uh, it'll be a good... Uh, rotation for corn and soybeans, I believe. You know, I, I don't have that many acres, so uh, I need to be more uh, open to something that can supplement what I'm doing, and you know, specifically a niche-type market. That's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA 3, your local news leader.